and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for part four of our sub battle stream, our 12 hour sub battle Saturday, the last Saturday of every month. Uh, this is what I do is I play against su subscribers here on the Twitch channel. Um, it's, it's a great time. What I do is I play a different deck every single round. What deck that I play base is based on what deck comes up on the wheel. We started with 44 decks on the wheel that we've played over the last few weeks. We've been narrowing it down. You know, we've gone through 19 matches so far. Uh, for more for more about this, if you haven't checked out parts one, two, or three, if you're watching this later on YouTube, I hope you check out those parts as well. Um, but yeah, so let's let's go ahead and go. So we're facing Ben and Donner. Thank you so much for that. Uh, gamer tag. There's my gamer tags up there. All right, so let's spin the wheel. See what deck I will be playing. Also in the the uh, information, the description, there you go. If you're watching on YouTube in the description, it has all the decks that I've played in that video. And we're starting with mono red cannons. So that's pretty sweet. So if, you, if there's like specific decks that you really like that you wanna see, click on over to the different videos, to the different sub battle stream videos. And um, you know, you can go to the, go to the description and see what, what uh, deck there is there. I, sorry, I was trying to do this. Sorry, to finish that statement, you can find the decks that you want to watch. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so we got Mono Red Cannons. This was the deck we just made on Thursday. Okay, everything's fixed now. Um, we have Vance's Blasting Cannons. It's basically like Mono Red Aggro, um, but with like a lot of, a lot of cycling. And some bla Vance's Blasting Cannons. So Mono Red Cannons. All right, so challenge match, best of three, coin flip. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, and the Bant, so yeah, the Bant version, um, Rivers, you can also find that one on the, like the last time we played that, you can find that on the YouTube channel there um you know click on over to just the video tab and kind of scroll look for band arc bow and you can find a link to the deck list on there and everything too so probably played it a week or so ago i don't remember exactly when we played it all right looks like we're all about those chandras this probably wasn't a keep, to be honest. I don't know. It has cannons. That card's cool. Cool. Yeah, 12 hours is kind of tough, but uh, we do this every so often whenever we hit enough sub goals. Uh, you have like these sub goals over here on the on the right whenever we get to 20 total sub goals which a sub goal is 10 subscribers in one stream whenever we get to 20 of those I do a 12 hour stream to celebrate yeah we had we did whoa diamond mare huh steam can so unfortunately, the cannons left. My favorite card in the deck. Maybe Ben Donner was was pre-boarding against the mono red deck, which is fair, fair game. But the thing is, like Diamond Mare is just not even a good card. If you could choose like red for like whenever your opponent casts a red spell. Okay, or chart. All right, chart of course. So that worked, having a creature to be able to attack and turn on chart of course, that worked. I know, right? Remember the last time that we played this deck? 
everybody like was like we have way too many lands in this deck how can you play 22 lands it's way too many lands and we just had like eight lands every game not this game all right well i have to kill this thing begrudgingly otherwise we have to go to discard All right. Go in Citadel. Citadel with all the life gain with like Diamond Mare with Citadel. Okay. All right. I'm picking up. I'm picking it up. That's pretty sweet. Because, yeah, Citadel with just tons of life gain. I feel like I'd rather just have like Revitalize though. But, oh, what do we have going on over here? Maybe. Okay. Maybe we got a bunch of stuff that we don't know what's going on. All right, so Renowned Weaponsmith can cast Artifacts with that ability. So Artifact, full of Citadel, that's an Artifact. So you can ramp into the Citadel. Stop taking the cannons. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Let's try this. All right, so we're going to have to keep a hand that actually does stuff for game number two. This game this is, is over. Worst defeat. I'm going to let Ben and Donner do their thing. Normally, I would be conceding. Let's let them do their thing. Hey, dice. Best way to get cards is uh, really just spending money. Besides that, um, grinding like the the uh, best of one events. If you have a a pretty decent best of one deck, like a, a good aggressive best of one deck. Um, I mean, there's there's of course sealed, but like that that costs money. Like that that's not like something you can really do on like the free to play. But like sealed is a really good way of like taking like a an investment of some money and and having it last longer and everything. Um, oh, I wasn't really sc scouting for sideboarding decisions there. War boss over chain whirler. I guess fry instead of shock. Shock isn't that valuable. We didn't see anything that shock killed. Shock, you can. Can flip blasting cannons with shock though. We'll play a couple shocks. No, limited doesn't give you wow cards, but it's still, um, it's it's a lot better value still than just opening up packs. As far as like, if you're trying to get cards from that set, I mean, if there aren't any cards in the set that you want, then it, then of course you don't really need to do that specific set hmm 
Hmm. Y'all remember playing this deck on Thursday? Because literally every, literally every single game, every single game we we hit eight land drops. We had eight lands every game. And I even kept some one landers like this. I guess that was our <laughs> that was our day or something. Because every every single person that was watching this deck a few days ago said, cut lands out of this deck. This deck has way too many lands. Get rid of lands. That didn't work, though. Like you have too much too much cycling for how many lands you have. What's up, Rockborn? Thanks for the tier one sub. We'll be have we'll be able to have a pretty good turn this next turn. If Steamkin stays alive, that is. Thanks for that resub there, Rockborn, for half a year now. They're back down to 20. Yeah, all these cards are only costing one mana. Or one life. That's really nice with Diamond Mare in play. Them double block steamkin. Yeah, Diamond Mare to Citadel, that is nice. Every spell gaining you one life. So I was like, what why is why is there Diamond Mare in the deck originally? But then yeah, with Citadel, that makes sense. Look at that. Eight cards in hand over there? So jealous. Citadel's pretty busted. Scheming Symmetry Citadel. Also very good. <laughs> there you go. You got a Dracuseth, a Gargos, and an Agent of Treachery. I do like how they just put the, the Blasting Cannons to the front. Fortunately, I don't have any artifact removal, unfortunately. So we're, the Citadel is just going to wreck us. Just gonna keep wrecking us. No, I'm I'm re two. No, that does not mean that. You just have to wait a few days. Hey, what's up, Dice? Thanks for the sub. Love it. Take a look at that. So they, they put Omniscience on top. Cast Omniscience. That is awesome. I don't know how... Okay, yeah, so that's from your hand without paying their mana costs. So you just don't have to pay any mana costs ever again. So either play it off the top of the library without paying mana cost, play it from the hand without paying mana cost. Everything's free. I am not going to sit this one out. Yeah, the horses are on blue. Just I think I'd rather bounce yeah, bounce guard mage. Then bounce out the Kaya. 
was nothing. Both gain three life. You can either do three damage or draw a card. Draw a card's more valuable whenever everything's free. Oh yeah, five life from the elite because the other diamond mares. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. This is what sub battle stream is all about. win for team chat this card's just pretty ridiculous <laughs> like why why did this even need to be printed i don't know but like you know we did the same thing earlier you know we played golgari citadel i was doing the same thing just went infinite got to play the the entire deck yeah i wish this game had a friends list also i i think that's like, I believe that that will be a feature that will be added to Arena at some point. It just hasn't been yet. So, yeah, all the spells in hand are free to cast also. Omniscience. That is really cool. This isn't a fight you can win. Yeah, we'll see if there. Yeah, we'll. See, there could be a spicy win con coming. I don't know. If, yeah, we'll see if it's just Citadel activating a couple of times, or if there's something really cool, real spicy. We'll see. Could just be Jace. That could be it. Just you just mill yourself out. Just get to activate, you know, obviously not actually looking for the card, but just activate to shuffle your library. Search your library, you know, tap one, tap, shuffle your library. Sorry I'm late. Yeah, we, we played it. Yeah, actually, um, no, I am not Pitt this up had as I a, a QD control deck that we played against earlier. That was just a mill deck. There you go. That's that's that link. I was gonna be playing that one later. On a different on another stream. No, not in a challenge match. There's no turn timer. Yeah, I mean, basically, Acuity would, like, replace... If you want to play Acuity in this kind of deck, it would replace, like, these creatures. Acuity with Citadel makes a lot of sense, though. All right, got the two points in. Ben's done. He's got millions of cards in hand, and they all cost zero mana. All right, well, we get to play cannons at least once, so that's cool. Could just be, like, a lot of removal in hand
Gone through all four Othakayas, gone through all the Teferis. Need to get like some Masterminds acquisitions or something. Have like some kind of really cool win con besides just activating Citadel. Just passing the turn and attacking again. <clears throat> Gotta have some win cons so you can just kill that, that turn. All right, defeated. Yeah, I mean, they, they could have just had Nexus. Yeah, I mean, Nexus would have worked. <clears throat> GG's, Ben. Ben and Donner, GG's. All right, if you'd like to be the next person to battle... Um, if you are a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat now. Yeah, nice nice deck there, Ben and Donner. Nice deck there. That that uh, Bolus of Citadel, that's that's a card I just haven't uh I haven't played enough of that card, just in general. That card's pretty broken. All right, so yeah, so who's going to be up next? If you're a sub, type battle in the chat. All right, is everybody in there? Looks like it. Yeah, yeah, don't need Wildgrowth Walker when you got Diamond Mare. Radical Guru. All right, Guru. Send me that gamer tag. Let's see what deck I am playing. Spinning the wheel. Grixis Reanimator. I have like four or five Grixis decks on here, and I think that's the first Grixis list that we hit. Because, yeah, there's still four others. There's Midrange, Blood Sun, Control, Pirates. So, yeah, we've had, we had five Grixis decks on here. First one to hit. Mozar, thanks for staying on that two month streak. Thank you there. Okay, so we're playing Grixis something. Which one? Reanimator. Alright, what does this deck look like? Let's take a look at our deck. There's a Grixis Reanimator. Alright, so what does this one do? Alright, so we got four Agent of Treachery. Oh man, I forgot this is the very treacherous deck. We got Ilharg and everything in here. Got a Feeble Thip. All right, looks pretty sweet. Let's get to it, Grixis Reanimator. Yeah, we're going till going till 10 p.m. Eastern. We got about three and a half hours to go still. Our 12 hour stream today. Mm. This is fine. We just wait till turn five and then play Ilharg and then and then we attack with Ilharg and then we win. Oh, I was on the draw. 
that was certainly a reasonable clock that definitely would have been fast enough if I was on the play. On the draw, probably too slow. Yep, still time for a Johnny. A Johnny's pride is in there. It's in there somewhere. It's in there somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, like these, these are card styles that cost gems. You can get them just like from your collection. Not all the cards have it. As you see, like Bond Revival doesn't have it. A lot of cards have them, but not all the cards have the card styles. They just cost gems. And then, yeah. Yeah, y'all are right. You can unlock them. Mastery tree. Everything like that. Yeah, I could have discarded your rock. Maybe that was the play. Discard your rock, then bind bond revival. Or sorry, discard Ilharg. Sorry, I could have discarded Ilharg and then bond revival Ilharg. Put in treachery. Let us see if your talents let me aid your research. Ooh, I like having a Tamio. Kamal's druidic vow. I do want this Tamiyo, thank you. To the library. Tamiyo is pretty good for the reanimate deck. Yuck, Field of the Dead. Yuck. I have learned little here. No. So Do I take your rock or I guess I should probably take your rock. <clears throat> now I can just play Agent Treachery and steal two things. Cuz we do not have very much life. We're gonna need this life gain from Yurok. Gaia's blessing, okay. Oh, Tatiova is so cool. Oh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give All right, we're going to have a pretty ridiculous turn here. We're going to sack Agent of Treachery. Bring back Agent of Treachery. The Hostage Taker in our hand. 
Treachery is going to give me this Tatiova and this Field of the Dead. Gain two life, draw two cards. Hostage Taker, this, and this. Sage of Treachery cards messed up. Like my like Radical Guru is just trying to do all this cool stuff and I'm just Just take all of it. I'm like, no, I'm gonna do all that stuff now. Alright, so discard Ilharg. Discard this Lich. This Temple. This Ascanta and the Fibble Hip. Yeah, those are two cards that I definitely need to play more. Agent of Treachery, so powerful, and Bolas of Citadel, so powerful also. The Naya multicolor deck? Yeah. There you go. All right, so what are we doing? Um, bunch of nothing. Cool. Gonna start playing a little more loose here. Getting close to nine hours. We're at eight and a half hours or so in. Yeah, that's what we were going to trigger field. We can, like, rejuvenator, hit a land drop, trigger field. What's up, King? Yeah, that was a that was definitely a fun one. We've played some really good... we played against some really good decks today. Yes, Moxie. Mono Black Aggro is played. And again, check, check the videos on YouTube, Moxie, and check in the description. It says all the decks that I played. I don't remember which one. It was either part one or part two. But yeah, we played mono black already. Alright, guys, have a good night. Let's see. Do I just want to play as Kanta or the Lich? And then we're. We do need to find big creatures. We'll make Hase. This Try this. That's a big creature. Ilharg. Hey, Ronnie. Decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, we got Ilharg in play.
All right, so we'll attack Jace, put an agent, and attack them. Agent will take this green land. Momentary setback. Put the agent back in our hand. Surveil. Nothing good. Take that. Man, poor, poor Radical Guru getting Agent of Treachery so bad. And this deck's so mean. Deck so mean. Okay, there you go. I'm so yeah, I'm sorry, Radical Guru. Yeah, you got bullied by Agent of Treachery. Yeah, I could have put it, uh, let's see, if I would have put in Dracuseth, you don't get the Dracuseth trigger, so it would have attacked down to one. But yeah. There you go. It's okay. You won last time. There you go. All right, let's see who's up next. Who is up next? You don't get Dracuseth triggers. All right, so type battle into the chat if you're a subscriber. There we go. Just like everybody else is doing. See who's going to be the next person to play. Our wheel is getting smaller. I said we started with 44 decks today. So many decks. No, yeah, that was, hey, that was some good spice there, Radical Guru. That's some good spice. Okay. Let's see who is up next. Boot. All right, finally. Boot's been trying since this morning. All right, Boot, you're up. Send me that gamer tag. There's mine. Oh, yeah. Tatiova. Tatiova is such a cool card. Alright, what am I playing? Jund Dinosaurs. Well, that deck is mean. Oh, no. I wonder if I should respin. I know Boot's going to bring some real jank. And, uh, let's see, there are, how many decks left? 44 minus 21, so 23 decks. So this is our John Dinos, you know, this is just a, you know, a stompy deck. All right, y'all are saying stomp. Ferocidon's not legal on Arena yet. Yeah, dinos have no mercy. Ferocidon won't be legal on Arena until the next update, which is September 4th. Ferocidon would be in the main deck, not in the sideboard. Anyway, though.
That would be a four of main deck card in this deck. Oh, that would make sense. It's legal in friend matches. Okay. I didn't think of that. I didn't didn't know that, but I'm not changing it. Alright, so what's we doing over here? Just passing. So do I want to go Marauding Raptor, then Ripjaw Raptor? Or do I want to go Marauding and then... Rotting. I guess probably Ripjaw. So we don't have to discard anything. They're both four threes. I don't know if it really matters which one to do. There's a flash creature I'd rather attack with the rip jaw. If there's a haste creature, I'd rather attack with marauding. Yeah, is that a good turn three, playing Marauding Raptor and Ripjaw Raptor? Well, if you don't think so, just wait for the next turn. <laughs> Power surges through these lands. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Just turn four, two seven sixes, and a twelve twelve trampler. Thanks, squirrel. There's my playlist right there. This deck is so mean. This deck's too mean. That's kind of standard, though, if you think about it. All the decks are mean. All right, Boot could get this one. Dinosaur. Well, you gotta have a lot of mana to play land destruction. have the exact same start as last game. I 
I guess this is the average turn three, I guess. Yeah, that's true. This time we do have to Ancient Stirrings for the 12-12. That's true. I know that just trades with Paradise Druid, but that's fine. Yeah, I just had the two mana. Could only could only afford the five four haste. <laughs> yeah, that was just a really really tough matchup for you there, boot. That was like, if I could spin any wheel that's or like. If I could spin for like whatever deck on the entire wheel was the best against land destruction, that was it. That was the, like the out of like all forty four decks that that I have. That was the the actual worst one out of the forty four. Yeah, my hands were perfect, too. So that was rough. Yeah, it's twenty dollar donation to get a deck played on stream. Um. You just, you know, just send me the deck list. Let me know what day you want me to play it and what time slot, first, second, third, or fourth. Um, the, yeah. Um, all right, so first, all right, if you're a subscriber, you want to be up next, type the word battle. So yeah, Kendis, I'll have your decks for tomorrow and uh, Monday. Um, it kind of changes, but so I, I stream for seven hours from three to 10. And so seven divided by four, is like a little bit more than an hour and a half, like an hour or 45 minutes. So the last deck, usually starting around like 8, 8.15, something like that. Uh, you know, sometimes could be a little earlier if like the other decks don't do very well. Some Sometimes can be a little later. You know, so there's there's definitely fluidity to it. Okay. So everybody type in battle in there. Is everybody in? All any subscribers? Okay. Let's go. Oh, Ragabosh. Getting picked. All right, Ragabosh. Going to bring the jank. Hey, nothing wrong with bringing jank. Yep. All right, let's see what, what I am playing over here. So yeah, send me that gamer tag. Okay, I got some jank. Esper colorless. Esper colorless. Esper colorless. 
All right, where's our Esper Colorless deck? Ah. Here it is. All right, so this is, you know, like a, a colorless deck with Mystic Forge, um, being able to cast the top card li library if it's an artifact card or a colorless card. So that's what that's what we have here, but just basically playing Esper because we need a Wrath, so we need Kaya's Wrath. Like you just need a Wrath. So like that's that's what we got really that we have this, and I want to play Tezzeret. Like I want to play this for like my Win Con in the colorless deck. So then we have, so I want to play these two cards. And then it's at that point it's like well, if we're like those are Esper colors, so I guess we should play Thought Erasure because that card's just busted. So then we have Thought Erasure also. But yeah, we got Esper colorless. Here we go. Ooh, got changers over to best of three. Ah, I said play. Gotta hit that sword. Make sure, yep. Double check, make sure I was on best three. I think Parhelion is just white. So yeah, Parhelion could go in this deck. There you go. Good job, love. You beat a Feel of the Dead Crisis deck with your jank Johnny's Pride Mate deck. Good job. Nope, no renowned Weaponsmith in our colorless deck. So yeah, Bolas Citadel, you need a lot of life gain for that card. Need a lot of life gain for that card. All right, Ragabashi there. What's going on here? I'll, I'll try re I'll try re challenge. Yeah, so Tezzeret, the what Tezzeret does, the only thing that really matters is it has a plus two ability that deals damage to target opponent equal to how many artifacts you have, and you gain that much life. So if you have like five artifacts in play, the plus two deals five to them, you gain five. Oh, Ragabashi, oh. You accidentally hit just the, the play part. Um. The song that was just playing, you probably mean the the previous song. I could go back to it. Oh, that was Ghost Rider. I'll skip ahead to around where we were here. Yeah, you don't have to wait for the the opponent to sideboard. You can just concede in the the sideboard screen. If you're watching on YouTube, you can hit the fast forward 30 second button while we try to get paired up here. Cool. Yep. There's that's the Discord there, Chris. Discord's for everybody. If you're not part of the Discord, that's where I put like announcements. There, if I if there's like a day I'm not going to be streaming or um, if we're doing you know the 12 hour stream, all that kind of stuff. And there's just uh, a lot of people in there talking magic. Um, you know, feel free to go in there, ask questions. If you have any questions about anything ever, there's lots of different rooms. Or there's a room for like your pets. You can put p pictures of the pets um, and everything. 
So yeah, Discord is for everybody. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can join the Discord channel too. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm playing a different deck every single round, and so I'm not going through and, and looking through like the past few weeks and trying to find the deck for the deckless command. It's for each round. It it just take too much time. Um, I think usually like Esper has like the best mono red matchup. Out of the popular decks. Guild Globe. I'll take that. That's just going to be zero mana, draw a card later on with Ugin and get an artifact in play. Vanifar, super scary. Gonna get rid of Vanifar. Yurok, also super scary. All right, I do want that land because I want to be able to play Uga next turn. Last sounds really rough. Also, I'm pretty dead here. Yeah, because even another Wrath, the Cavalier can grab Moldratha. Admittedly, Field of the Dead is really difficult to beat. Every exploit ripples through time. Be mindful. So my colorless cards cost two less because of Ugin. Which is why I can just throw these things down. that card. Still don't want that card. Secrets manifest before you. Yeah, I don't I don't think this deck really needs diviner's lockbox though. I, I don't think it's really better than other things like it is that is nice with mystic forge out in play but all right ugin got through a lot of cards let us spend a lot of mana Yeah, I do, Chris. Yeah. Just go to, like, you know, just be in, like, whatever channel that your deck is. Like, you know, like, the Bruise, like, the channel or anything. And, um, you know, tag tag me if you want, you know, it's easier for me to see it if you tag me. But then, you know, you can also just ask everybody, everybody else, too, can give pointers and everything, too. Uh, everybody else in the channel.
<clears throat> so these cavaliers. There's Agent of Treachery and Muldratha. All right, we'll exile this land with the Mystic Forge. Should also get an upkeep stop for scrying and everything. Your rock and Risen Reef, okay. So we'll be able to go Risen Reef, draw a card, grab your rock, get double trigger there. A little surprised not Muldratha, to be honest. Even like Risen Reef, then Muldratha. Because then Muldratha can just like, you know, play like a land from the graveyard. And could even cast like the Leafkin Druid from the graveyard and everything. Uh, Neo forming away your rock for Muldratha. Okay. So this looks like the the Sultai value deck that I built. It looks like Ragabosh um, changed up the mana base to be able to put Field of the Dead, which is which is really smart. That's what the Field of the Dead certainly grows the power level of the deck. Kaiser at that. They're going to tap my treasure cove unless I manually tap. Play this Karn. Oh, that Ugin is so good. I will defend my allies. Um, let's draw it with treasure cove here. No thought erasure. Golos. So I do not, I cannot kill Golos with Ugin. Ragabosh has to have like nexuses or something, right? To not mill out. I mean, I, I need my fourth Kaya's Wrath already again. It's just like every turn is just a million tokens. Like we just wrath last turn. They just played a wrath last turn.
All right, well, I have to use a treasure here just to scry. It's worth it. Exile that thing. Scry that thing. Uh, that's not going to do it. Still dig in. The choices we make reveal who we are. We are so close. I guess I can't draw that though, can I? We are so close. I have this card? Dude, I forgot about this card. I could have played this completely differently. Huh. I don't know about completely differently. I could have played a little differently. I don't know if, Yeah, I don't think I could have gotten to... Karn activations, though, still. I can't cast the Kaya's Wrath. Mystic Forge allows you to top to cast artifacts and colorless cards. Kaya's Wrath is not an artifact or a colorless card, so I couldn't cast it. I didn't have any draw left. Oh yeah, I should have played Tezzeret before Ugin and then Ugin is free. I forgot about I forgot about that first part of Tezzeret. I just forgot about that line. Yeah, yellow right. I'm going to take out Thought Erasure here and Spike Glass. Get these things in here instead. I'll just play basically play Ego instead of Thought Erasure. 
Yeah, I'm really not that sure if he goes that good here either, honestly. Because the the field of the dead, I can't I can't it's really hard for me to beat Field of the Dead. So I have ego. I mean I don't is it that hard? Do I have a, do I just have like a bunch of field of ruins? Maybe I just say Risen Reef. Or Cavalier of Thorns. I completely forgot about these Agent of Treacheries. I can never beat that card. So there's no anti-decking card. Okay, good to know. There's no anti-decking card. Until you good choice, you will have bad choice. Until you good choice. Uh, they got their own field of ruin for my field of ruin. Okay. No, so Ragabosh is not attacking Karn because wanting to steal Karn with Agent of Treachery. And so that means I should probably minus two here. Some solutions must be built. Also. I guess I'm just gonna cast or like activate Thalmatic Compass and go grab a land. I don't really have anything else going on for me. Mm -hmm. 
Benny. lessons for you all. Farewell, and thank you for the lesson. So... What's that block on the agent treachery all about? This deck isn't like the best or anything, but it's it's pretty fun to play and it's you, know, you can kind of hang on a little bit. That's what we're doing. We're kind of hanging on a little bit. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Um, actually, I should, well, let's see. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Do I have your attention now? Not really. Attack. Boom. Um. All right, I was kind of planning on cracking that Founder Renewal, but oh well. Okay. We got a game. We got a game. Taking all the Risen Reefs certainly helped. I couldn't. Couldn't neoform for Risen Reef. Ugh. GG's Ragabosh. All right, game three. <clears throat> We're gonna have to hit land drops. I think this deck is like a 26 land deck, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I should have switched this back to Thought Erasure. I mean, that's what's looking like. I mean, obviously, right now, with this hand, Thought Erasure would be miles better. Obviously. Ugh. Killer. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, it's not over yet. Oh, come on. Now it's kind of over. Land. Okay. Um...
Agent of Treachery. Well, three mana Thought Erasure would have missed as well. Kept a couple Chupacabras in. Yeah, don't want to deal with those things ever. Steal a land? No, thank you. Yuck. All right, gotta draw land. Come on, deck. We're still in there. Yeah, I'm excited for Brawl. Absolutely. I like I like new formats. So yeah, I'm I'm excited for Brawl and um no. Another one of those? Oh, what a draw step. Cuz now that just replays the Risen Reef. And then next turn you rock. Oh, what a draw. Well, I need Ragabosh to brick for a few turns and literally just no bricks. Like after I cast that Amort Ego, the draw steps have just been, were just Risen Reef, and then Muldratha, then, Chup then Chupacabra. Just no bricks at all. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes you just don't hit your land drops. We had 26 in that deck, and so I kept a two lander, um, but as you can see, I didn't didn't draw lands till too late. Yeah, through gems. Um, most there there are some card card styles that were rewards, but most of uh, most all of them are gems. The lands were gems. Yeah, yeah, GG's Ragabosh, GG's. Team chat picking up another win there. The Esper Colorless Decklist, yeah, I'll look. I can look for it on. It's it's a lot easier to find it on the YouTube channel. I'll I'll look for it here. Um, let me get this started. All right, so if you are if you are a subscriber and you want to be the next person to battle, type the word battle into the chat. But yeah, all, all I do to get to get the decklist, like the easiest thing I think, is just going over to the videos. And then scrolling and looking for Esper Colorless. I mean, it's a lot like the scrolling on the Stream Decker page is rough. Um, but yeah, so like for any of the other videos for t for the other deck list for today, look for Esper Colorless. Yeah, so if you're a subscriber, you want to be up next. Type the word battle into the chat. It's gotta be here somewhere. All right, I think that's too far. There it is. Three weeks ago. Oh, there you go. Thanks, thanks, Real Harant. I might have changed something at the end of the video. Like that's the other thing about checking out the videos is sometimes I like change stuff at the end of the videos, and so I might have changed something to the deck. I don't remember. But yeah, if you check out the end, like the end of the video, also, um, you'll see because I don't update it in the deck list because I want people to be able to see like the actual deck that I played during that video, but sometimes at the end of videos I change decks. All right, is everybody getting in there? We may get through, are we gonna get through everybody? 
Makes sense. Yeah, you don't want to have Nexus in there. Makes sense. All right, we're because we're down to just a couple of people. All right, so who's up next? Corn lover. All right, corn lover. Hey, Bianchi. Thank you. Chris, you are a subscriber. See, you have the, the tie badge next to you. So somebody must have gifted you a sub. Yeah, send me, there it's gamer tag. Send me that gamer tag. All right, what deck am I playing up next? Yeah, so you have a tie, so you can be, so you can, you can battle. Ooh, Sultai Treachery. So basically, we 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 lost to like the Sultai Treachery deck. Now we're playing Sultai Treachery. I think I'm playing this deck tomorrow. Like this was the deck. This is one of the decks that I've planned for tomorrow's stream. Sultai Treachery here. Um, Hawkeye is up on the bed. He's just asleep. Or he's just he's just laying curled up on on the bed. All right, so this is my Agent of Treachery deck. Very similar to what we just played against. I don't want Field of the Dead though. But same kind of thing here. Yeah, I bet Field of Dead. Well, I mean, honestly, I think um, Agent of Treachery, you don't really need mass manipulation with, with Agent of Treachery. All right, so it should just be challenge match, best of three, coin flip. Yeah, going with Golos is it's a little ambitious with the activation. You know, I like Golos, but I don't like having like the the red land and the white land in the deck. Birdies. All right, got some flyers. We'll have Cavalier be a huge roadblock next turn. Ofer. No lands. One land. <laughs> Seems like we're not playing enough lands. So many good cards. I want these back. Two, 
two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Dang, one mana short from going Choop and Agent. Um, so I guess we just go Choop and Immortal Sun. I'm gonna kill this Hanged Executioner that would exile one of my creatures. We'll have Agent steal the Imperion Eagle next turn. So many birdies. Yoinks. Yoinks. Spark double agent of treachery, that is so dirty. Oh, I, I must have milled it over. I, did, I said, in, yeah, my mirror image was in my graveyard. I said, I didn't check that. All right, Plague Mare, Masker Girl. Um, hostage Takers look pretty good. Sure, Finality. Ceratops can have Reach. Legion's End can, like, exile some stuff. All right, so Immortal Sun's out of here. Um, one Yurok, maybe both Yuroks, honestly. Yeah, we'll just kind of cut Yurok. The one Agent of Treachery. Um, all right, maybe not Ceratops. A Quasi-Duplicate, a Neoform. No, Neoform's good. Vanifar slow. Um, what else? What else? I'll get rid of one Risen Reef. Oh, uh, yeah. Vanifar can definitely be too slow, but this deck does a good job of, like, bottling down the battlefield. Yeah, Ceratops blocks, you know, it has reach and stuff, so yeah, it's, it could be a card to play. I ended up, I put it in at first and then decided to cut it. Again. Actually, let's get rid of this breeding pool. We have other things, like these add green. Yeah, we've got a lot of options already. Lethal? Almost. Uh, 
All right, great hand there. GG's. Yeah, the bird. Yeah, the birds can hurt real bad. Okay, game three. <laughs> like our puns they get swag lord four thousand. Wow. Well, I wish we had another black source. So I'll go overgrown tomb. I'll play Temple next turn. Look for black mana. Just need black mana. There it is, we found it. That's really rude. So my plan here, like let's say we didn't just top deck that. My plan was to hostage take her the plague mare. Yeah, you know, like attack for two with the plague mare because it can't be blocked by white creatures, and then hostage take her it. And then, so that, um,. Thanks, Zach, sir. I like the rhyme. But yeah, so that, like even if they if they try to exile Hanged Executioner and get rid of Hostage Taker, it, it would come back. But What's up, Ripper? Wrong block. Need a block with Deputy there. Oh, I guess I have to copy one of these things, so it doesn't matter. Actually, that, that block was perfectly fine. Because I thought, I forgot that was not just two Plague Mares. But that was a, a plague mare and one of those, so I should have just done that pre, like, main phase. So that was a bad attack by me. Anyway, thanks for that resub there, Ripper. Yeah, just had all the removal there, game three. GG's there, swag. Okay, good. Oh, so yeah, fair amount. You made it back from the interview. Think it went well. Very good. Okay, yeah. I mean, we can play best of one if you want, Parappa. I, I'll, I'm fine with playing a best of one game. 
Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to break this up instead of having, uh, this has like been two hours since the last one, uh, close to, instead of having, you know, a four hour video. So that's going to be part four. We're going to have a part five also. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to click on over to part five for the last two hours there of the sub battle stream. Hope you're enjoying it. Cause yeah, these, these have been a lot of fun, a lot of cool decks. So click on over to part five. I'll see you there.